Oh my goodness! Shall we see how tall you are? Hi everyone! Welcome to Barney's room tour! <gasps> so exciting! <laughs> so we moved in here so long ago now. Well we moved in here when I was 37 weeks pregnant. Yeah. So it was a bit of a whirlwind um, whirlwind to get things started and then we've just got the nursery finished now as you can see Barney is seven months but we're so excited to show you are you ready yes okay so the first thing we bought was the armchair that was kind of like the big purchase of the room um it was from loaf so it's the Crumpet? Crumpet love seat in the winter sky clever velvet <laughs> if you're wanting to have a look so apparently it's wipeable we also got like a five year damage control on it as well <laughs> we'll see how long it lasts we've had lots of um warnings that it's going to be covered in cow pollen sick <laughs> within the next <laughs> few years so we'll let you know on the vlogs how we uh how we get on <laughs> but um yeah the love seat is kind of like his reading nook area we've got this really beautiful velvet cushion as well um i'll make sure that i link everything down below this was from um not on the high street um we've got his lamp which is i think it's called the arsted from ikea yeah might be wrong that was just in my old bedroom his little moon and stars mobile um is from What's her name? Fiona Walker. I'll try and find everything down below for you. And then here we've got his bookcase which is from Dunelm and I really wanted his bookcase to be like this so that when he gets a bit older he can choose his own books and he can see everything that he's got. Um, but it's, it's really cute and I love how like the wood fits in with other bits of his room. He's got lots of books, Gruffalo, Hungry Caterpillar, my favourite book, Peace at Last by Jill Murphy and then this is a um, set of wall stickers um, and it's a height chart so it's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Should we see how tall you are? <laughs> About 70 centimetres. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a little bear on his PJs. Are you coming in? I can sense that you're there. <laughs> I can hear you licking your chops. <laughs> Chippy, come on, lie down. Oh, there we go. Good boy, lie down. Good boy. Well done. So Chip is demonstrating the rug for you. That was from H&M Home. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. He does. <laughs> so moving round this way, um, this chest of drawers is from Ikea. It's called the Hemness something. Yeah. Um, it did come with black handles, but we changed them to wood <laughs> <laughs> to tie in with um, his room. <laughs> So on here I have the Rickerum lamp and we've been waiting for these to come back into stock because we would like them on our bedside tables as well in our room but I don't know whether it's the world situation, Brexit, I don't know but they are not in stock. Yeah we're worried they've been discontinued but hopefully, hopefully not. not. Fingers crossed Rickerum <laughs> makes a return because it's such a lovely thick base. <laughs> And then I just love all the details on it and the little trim on the shade. I think it's just such a nice lamp. On top here we have this basket from Matalan. It came with a, a set of two more, I think. They're not properly organised. We just do muslins and socks, hats and pyjamas, spare nappies. This one's got things like um, teething powder, bongella, cotton buds. Um, some spare wipes and nappy sacks, sun cream, 
This has been an absolute godsend, hasn't it? Yeah. This was a present from my sister, and it's got things like a thermometer and nail clippers, hairbrush. Um, what was there? Uh, Something important. Oh, the nose sucker. Oh yes, which well, should be using. The snot sucker, which we use pretty much every day yeah. at the minute. <laughs> and then, I mean, everything's a bit. As you can imagine, it's always a bit chaotic with a baby, but we do vests down here and onesies in here, and these are amazing. So they are draw dividers. Hello. <laughs> so you, you pull this up to release it, and then um, they are proper like draw dividers, and I got them from Amazon, but it's much better than doing baskets, I think, because then you use the whole drawer, um, and they will extend to any size of your drawer, so you could do them that way or that way and they come in a pack, so um, yeah, I'll pop the link down below for those because they're so, so handy if, if you've got things like vests because obviously you only need such a small amount um, for vests and then you just click that down like that and it stays in place. And then over here we do more of his outfits, which to be honest, he doesn't wear very much two pieces even though he's got so many, um, but we're going to try him in a few more, but he's... He's a lover of onesies. <laughs> he always seems to get a bit irritated with waistbands. Um, but don't we all? Don't we all just want to live in pajamas? <laughs> this is blankets up here, um, bedding sheets, bigger like swaddles from when he was younger, and towels. It's a bit of a mismatch, but these bottom drawers are huge, so it's really handy for things like that. And then down here are all things ready in the next size, so I just kind of keep like 9 to 12 months in here right now, um, just so that it's ready if he does have a bit of a growth spurt. This here is just like a little comforter that he got um, as a present. It was actually from the Beatrix Potter Museum, um, from I think from her house. Um, and this is Flopsy, Mopsy and... Flopsy, Mopsy... I can't think what the last one's called. Cottontail, I think. And this is um, embroidered on, which is just absolutely amazing. Don't work with children or animals. <laughs> <laughs> or both. <laughs> so, um, oh, we didn't talk about his mat. No. So, this is from Leander. It's called the Matty. It comes in blue, pale pink, and I think grey. Um, and it's like foamy... It's a weird material, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's amazing though. But we we clean that much pee and poop off it, and it doesn't stain. It really and doesn't. He loves it. He's always loved it. And it's just really good temperature wise. Like it. No, they say that it's, it regulates, doesn't it? Yeah. It's magical. It is. I don't think you need to get an, a mat that expensive. I think it was eighty pounds, which is extortionate for a um, Changing mat, that. really. But it was a gift from. My mum, when we were pregnant, and I, I've loved it since we got it. Every yeah. time I walk in, I'm like, I love that mat. <laughs> Me too, which I didn't think I would, no. but I do. Yeah. Talking of magical, though. Barney's Castle Prince. Yay! <laughs> so, these are um, the Disneyland um, Castle in California. California, and it's got the date that they were built, which is quite a nice feature. And I like that they almost look like little Lego castles. <laughs> So he's got Disneyland, he's got Magic Kingdom, and he's got Disneyland Paris. Because we wanted a bit of a, a Disney touch. As many of you know, we love Disney, and we <laughs> do lots of Disney vlogs. And we can't wait to get back and take Barney. So, um, yeah. we want season three of the hey. Disney vlogs, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so his cot was um, gifted from Snooze Cot. He hasn't actually slept in here yet, <laughs> but it looks pretty. So. He's used it a lot, he just hasn't actually slept in here. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Chip, I can feel your tail under my toe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, this beach ball cushion is, well, it's not really a beach ball, I think it's called a pinwheel. <laughs> Um, because it's not fully round, but we call it your beach ball. <laughs> Look at your little tooth. Um, this was also from um, Not on the High Street, and this is the softest cushion I've ever felt. This one with the pom-poms is from H&M Home. His little, oh, 
his little giraffe was from the white company and then he's got this little rainbow musical mobile which has a little what's it called dave brahms lullaby uh yeah is that what it is so. i don't know whether it will get copyrighted for him i don't know okay we've got a bit of a grump a grumpus so we're gonna try and get through this as quick as we can <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> oh yeah, and then down the side of the cot here we have this toy basket. This was from Dunelm, um, and he just has, you know, like his um, stacking cubes and some toys and bits and pieces in there. <laughs> you go over it. Chip, get your tail out of the cot. <laughs> Anyone still here? Anyone enjoying all the, the drama? <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you're still here. Okay, so the wallpaper is from a website called Mini Philly, and they do the most they do the most beautiful wallpapers. So definitely have a look there if you're looking for one for a nursery or a child's bedroom. Yeah. And then if you look up here, this is the Lucy pendant from Next. They're only about fifteen pounds, I think, but we just wanted something really simple. <laughs> <laughs> his curtains are from Dunelm. I really love them. They're just really simple white curtains. But if you can see here, they're not fully um, blackout. So his blind is. So I think we should be okay. But if you're looking for blackout curtains, um, these aren't the ones. These aren't the ones. <laughs> um, but they're not. They're not advertised as blackout. So. No shade to Dunelm. <laughs> they're just not. Dad. Um, this little rabbit box, I think was from Next, it was a present, we've just got a few more books in there. He's got two little night lights, a polar bear and a dinosaur. And <laughs> um, his blind was also from Next. Um, and then this abacus was from... Hmm, I think it was from Scandiborn, but I'll pop links down below for everything for you. And it's just little like pastel wooden balls as you can see <laughs> and a gold rainbow and then he has his money box here which was a little present when he was born it was um and then i think that's everything back to his armchair and his um blanket was from laura ashley um, but it just shed it's not the best really it's a bit of a poon yes <laughs> I love nothing more than just sitting here and looking around and I can't even imagine how that would feel if you were pregnant and just being able to sit in your baby's nursery. Um, this was pretty much an empty room with a cot when I was pregnant. Oh, actually, we got the castle prints and we got the drawers, so we did have, we did have something. Um, but yeah, it's just so nice and tranquil in here and it's just... It's my favourite room in the house. So I hope you enjoyed Barney's room tour. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We do vlogs every day, Monday to Friday. And yeah, I'm just, I'm absolutely in love with it. And for anyone that's going to come for me and say that this room is too girly for a boy, nothing is too girly. This room is perfect for our son. And he loves it, we love it, and we hope you do too. So thank you for watching and we will see you all in our next one.